looks delicious right watch till the end and get to know how we achieve this final delicacy enjoy channel it's your favorite girl belinda with another interesting video kamake kamakawa if you're new here karibu sana thank you for clicking on to this video and guys kindly consider joining the family by clicking the subscription button down below and also don't forget to put a notification bell on so that you get notified anytime i upload a video so guys i know you might have thought that i am done cooking oh no please i haven't i'm just getting started on this channel guys so today as most of you guys have requested i'm going to make spaghetti yes i know sometimes making spaghetti can be a struggle but i'm here for you guys i got you and today i'm going to share with you the simplest recipe of making spaghetti so stay tuned and be sure to enjoy and watch till the end yes so as usual before we get started you know i gotta give you guys a small dance i know i'm poor at it forgive my dancing skills but anyway guys let's get into the video <laughs> so guys these are basically all the ingredients that i'm going to need um we have onions here two chopped onions we have garlic here and uh two bell two chili which is optional we have salt we have um turmeric we have turmeric we have two seasoning cubes rico cubes we have paprika because i'm not going to use um tomato paste so i'm gonna use paprika um we have our spaghetti here i prefer the blue label and then we have this uh, mixed veggies, which is uh, red bell pepper, carrots, and minji. So guys, let's get started, and I hope you enjoy. So we are going to start by peeling our carrots. I'm only going to need like three uh, medium-sized carrots in making of my uh, mixed vegetables. So I'm going to cut them into pieces, as you see me doing, guys. I'm not going to cut them into, I mean, into rounds or squares. I'm going to cut them like star, star I mean, I don't know what to say, but you see exactly how I'm going to cut them, guys. Yeah. That's how I'm going to shape mine. I love it that way. So we are going to cut them each and every piece. Guys, be careful not to cut your hand. And also, guys, this is a good meal, especially if you are um, if you want something quick um, and if you want something that doesn't need much of your time. Guys, if you follow this recipe well, um, in 15 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes, guys, you will be done with your meal. So guys, enjoy and I hope you share with your family as well. Also guys, I'm going to need green peas or minji. Um, I love it that way guys. Always, whenever I prepare something that uh, has carrot, I use minji as well. So at this point guys, I'm going to peel my two bulbs of onion and two cloves of garlic. Um, wash them clean um, with my three medium sized tomatoes and one large bell pepper or pili pili ho hoya red and two chilies which is optional so i'm going to start by cutting cutting my, my onions into small pieces and guys cutting onions is one of the worst things i had doing in the kitchen like nivle to see choice i always shed tears like crazy like you might think someone has beaten me or something Meanwhile, guys, we are going to steam our carrots and green peas. Not, we are going to steam, not boil, because carrots and uh, green peas are preferred crunchy, guys. They should not be too soft uh, or too hard. Just steam them for um, at least five minutes. Yeah, so that's exactly what we are going to do, guys. And voila, in five minutes' time, um, our peas are already steamed. I'm just going to drain the water and put them aside on a different bowl so that i can use it later on in my cooking so at this point guys i'm going to boil water uh two cups of water and then i add my spaghetti guys i don't cut my spaghetti into pieces i just put them the way it is like a whole of it and then after it um, mixes well with the warm water it 
shapes itself inajikunja yenyewe i don't know how to put it in english but inajikunja yenyewe and then it fits in your sufuria so i don't need to um cut them into pieces i prefer mine like that okay you can cut them if you want but it's optional so after that guys i um cover it and let it cook for at least seven minutes not guys it should not cook like um fully cooked it should just be partially cooked isikwe isive sana because when it cooks for so long it will um it will it will change iko ugali so just boil it for 7 minutes and then it's you are good to go after that guys i put it on a separate bowl and then guys always add water ukitoa spaghetti yako kwa moto add water so that it cannot um isishikane ukishikana ukipika itaka kama ugali so me i prefer adding water on mine and then i leave it aside for some minutes as i cook my um, spices and all that yeah so that's what i would advise that's how i do mine so on a different pan guys i'm going to heat it for about 2 minutes and then i add uh three tablespoons of oil when your oil is hot guys that's when you're going to add onions let it cook for three minutes or rather two minutes until it's partially uh, brown and then you add your garlic don't add your garlic together with your onions at the same time because garlic cook faster than the onions so i add them a little bit later after my onions are cooked and then guys yeah we're good to go so after it's well cooked guys i'm going to add my tomato puree like my blended tomatoes and uh yeah in that tomatoes guys i added paprika and uh chili inside i blended them all together so i'm going to stir it all together like that for about three minutes and then after which i'm going to add my paprika turmeric um two cubes and one tablespoon of salt Mix them all together guys. Mix them properly so that it can cook well in the stew and then you cover it and let it cook for 3 minutes and then guys at this point make sure that your stew doesn't I mean the soup doesn't cook until it's finished. Just uh cook it for a few minutes and then you add your vegetables like your carrots and your minjis. Just add them. Remember guys we had already steamed them before so they are partially cooked. So we're going to stir them all together for a few um uh, minutes like two to two minutes um and then we add our spaghetti last guys as you can see it's still intact it looks so good like haijashikana haikai ugali so like um i'm just going to add them in my stew add everything i mean i added everything guys i used a full pack of that dawat spaghetti so i'm going to mix them thoroughly together until they are well all the ingredients mix guys and then i cover and let it simmer for three minutes on very low heat after three minutes guys voila we are ready and i'm just going to garnish my um spaghetti with red bell pepper um and uh coriander leaves as well and then we are done guys just take a look i mean it looks so mwah, delicious i'm sure you're going to enjoy it. just follow this recipe guys and after you're done share with me what you, how your outcome was down in the comments we are done guys just take a look i can't wait to feast on it i'm sure you're going to love it guys trust me i did it and i'm sure it's going to work for you as well so guys um we are done and we're just going to plate it you can choose to have it with whatever stew you want guys as for me i decided to have it just like that because recently i've started to be a vegetarian so i decided to have mine just like that without any stew yeah i preferred it that way so guys you're going to plate it i'm trying to make it look good yeah and we are done this is my pretty sister that's going to do the testing for us guys. This is too good to just leave behind. 
Guys, you should try this out. But before I forget, please do subscribe and uh, remember to hit the like button. Comment, share to your friends and other and friends and your friends' friends. And don't forget to like this video. It's worth watching and thanks for your time. Guys, I couldn't be left behind in this. Guys, it's the aroma alone is just oh my gosh. It's so nice, guys. You should try this out with your family. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Eating spaghetti is struggle. Like Nishida Nikama took we pika. So like you bear with me. Guys. I have no words to say. Let me just end this video and feast on this meal. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, kindly don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and most importantly, guys, subscribe. Nitawambi kitu marangapi, but my my friends, subscribe. It's absolutely free and it takes just one second of your time. See you on the next video, guys.